Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Well, guys, it's finally happened. We finally got that 30th anniversary special of Power Rangers that we've all been waiting for. Once and always. It's finally come out, and I've seen it. But, you know, let's do this right. I'm going to do something that I haven't done for a while, and it just doesn't feel right if I don't do it. Excuse me a minute. All right. It's morphin' time! Triceratops! Yeah! <sighs> it's good to be back in blue. Now, of course, I know you're going to ask me, how was it? It was more phenomenal, guys. It really was. I love it. It was definitely just about everything that I was hoping for. It really was. Because, you know, here you get this story of how Billy had accidentally brought Rita back to life through, well, trying to bring Zordon back. And when they try to stop her, well, unfortunately, Trini dies protecting Billy, which is a good way to honor her memory, because that is definitely what Trini would have done. Because as we all remember, her and Billy were very close. Whenever he was talking with all his science mumbo-jumbo, she was always there to translate. This special captured everything that really made it good. Like, for instance, we got the putties back. We brought back two of Rita's most iconic monsters, the Minotaur and Snizzer. But, of course, now they got a more updated robot form, just like Robot Rita. And Rita is actually kicking butt. She never did that in the show, which is even more awesome. And, oh my god, I just love it. I just love it. Especially since Zack and Billy, they are a huge part in it. Because when Trini dies... Zack is raising Trini's daughter. One of the things I love the most about this is definitely all the nostalgia that's coming on. Like, you know, it's good to see Minotaur and Snizzer back, of course. And Rita even says about her having a headache in one part, of course, you know. But it was awesome to watch her kick butt as well. That's something she never did before. And I love how they handled the fact that Jason, Kimberly, and Tommy weren't there. They basically put it down that they were there, but they got captured. Because we all know why they weren't there. It's a way better explanation than what they did last time. The action, it still felt like Power Rangers. Even after 30 years, it still felt like Power Rangers. And I just love the fight scene at the old youth center, which was very well recreated. I love how they did that. Zack is doing his hip-hop keto once again. I love it. I just love it. Of course, this time, they made it a little bit more practical than they did back in the day. Because as you remember, most of the time, all he would do is just a few dance moves and then some punches and kicks. Whereas for this time, he does some dance moves all right, but I'm seeing what looks like capoeira being used in there. But if there's anything I love the most about this, it's the fact that we do really get a Power Rangers reunion. Because we got Walter Jones playing Zack once again. David Yost being Billy. We got Johnny Young Bosch as Adam. Karen Ashley as Aisha. Steve Cardenas as Rocky. We got Alpha for crying out loud. And we even got Barbara Goodson reprising her role as Rita Repulsa. How great is that? And yes, we got Catherine Sutherland as Cat as well. And I love what they did with the Megazord battle. That was incredible. And for the first real time, the Dino Megazord is done in CG. And this time, it was done right. I, I, I'm still just so blown away by all this. It's incredible. And of course, we got some great nostalgia moments like the Rad Bug is back. Of course, it's a more upgraded model, but it's still back. It's the Rad Bug. And we do get some stories about how Trini had overcame her fear of heights and saved Billy. And we get a beautiful, beautiful moment where we see some flashbacks of Trini and a picture of her. Now, that's how you do it. That's how you honor the memory of a long-lost friend. That really is. And in case you're wondering, yes... They do pay a small tribute to Jason David Frank as well. But because this was made before all that happened, it's easy to see why. Because let's not forget, folks, 
he only died just recently and they weren't prepared for this and i'm sorry folks but you know this thing was already well done in advance contrary to popular belief these things are done way ahead they're done like years ahead in fact they're not done like last week it doesn't work that way and well there was just no going back on it so they did the best they could and i think they did it perfectly and you could see that this was meant to be a great shout out for Trini altogether. And there was just no going back. So they did what they could with what they had. And as good as it is, it does have its downsides. I mean, what show doesn't? For instance, they do force the whole thing about Kat and Tommy being married. And I know, I know, I know. But I will never support that. I'm sorry, folks. I will never support that. And one of these days, I'll explain that in full. But not today. And you know, they even do a shout out to Ernie in a way. Because Zach says that he wondered if they still had Ernie's recipe for the smoothies. And I, I do love that they acknowledge Ernie. Because he hasn't been talked about since, well, he left the show because of his health issues. Even more important... They acknowledge Zordon. They talk about him. They mention how this all started because Billy was trying to bring Zordon back. That is a very huge deal. Because oh, they haven't really talked about him ever since he made the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for that. Because I always found it kind of shocking that when Jason David Frank and them came up, they never talked about Zordon. I always found that shocking that he never even mentioned him when he was in Dino Thunder and all that. You know, this is a very humbling experience because to think all these years, you know, it's been 30 years. And at the same time, I'm very happy with how this turned out and excited. But at the same time, I'm also a little sad, to be honest, because, well, for Tui Trang, you know, she she saw what the series had turned into, but she never got a chance to really see her star really go up. And, you know, when she died, her career was really starting to take off. And who knows how that would have turned out for her. Maybe she would have become a huge movie star. That we'll never know. But at the same time, you know, even if it didn't, I'm sure she would have been attending the Comic-Cons and getting all kinds of love from all us fans. And she'll never get to see that. That's the sad part. That's, that's kind of a heartbreaking moment there. Because she didn't get to see all that it's become. And how much we still love her. I like to think that somewhere up there she's looking down and smiling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And on top of that, for Jason David Frank, now, he got to see all this, but I'm still sad about the fact that he's gone, too. And even though he made it clear that he was retiring from Power Rangers, and that's why he didn't come back for this. It's the fact that he never got to see it. So, it's equally sad on that part. But, for this one, my heart goes out to Tui Trang on this one, because it was a great shout-out for her. It was a real labor of love, you could tell. And that's really the meaning of the whole line. Once a ranger, always a ranger. And because of that fact, let's have a moment of silence for Tui Trang and Jason David Frank. With that being said, I got to acknowledge one other big thing. And that would be the fact that Ron Wasserman 
has done it again with his music. He got to do the music for this episode, and it was fantastic. He still got it. I, I, I lost my mind when I heard his Redux album being played. Because when they started it off, we hear his Redux version of Go Go Power Rangers. Oh my god, the minute I heard that, I I was going to lose it right there. Because I was not expecting them to use his Redux album for that. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for that. And you know, anything I say right now is not going to do this episode justice. It really isn't. For that, you need to go to Netflix and watch it right now. I'm not kidding. You really need to watch it. Now, before I go, I want to thank my good friend, Jonathan, the reviewer, for setting up that morphing sequence for me. Thank you, Jonathan. And I especially suggest that if you guys haven't seen Jonathan, the reviewer's work, I'll put the link below so you can find it. I suggest you check out his channel because he does great work. I, Once again, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. From one serious hardcore Power Ranger fan, I can definitely say that you are gonna love it. This is Movie Fan, signing off. And may the power protect you.